Hey guys, I am back for another video. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about archery. Um, uh, if you want to get started in archery, here's the first thing you should do. Um, I highly recommend getting one of these. Um, it's like a snake recurve. You just Google, you can Google snake recurve, right? And uh, you can buy it from your local archery store usually. Uh, they're a little hard to find. Well, you can order one online as well. Um, there's different, uh, Landcast, I think Lancaster, and there's some other um, places that also have these bows. This is about a 26 pound bow, so it's very, very easy to train with. Um, very, very simple, right? This is a good training bow. Um, I also have a nice, very, very nice 40, 45 pound um, bow also in the back of my truck. Um, but you want to start off light. If you start off too heavy, uh, you're going to be struggling a lot and trying to get the mechanics. So I highly recommend you buy something that is very, very weak so you can learn how to get um, in the right mindset of, you know, your positioning, how you're holding the bow correctly or not. Um, people do uh, shoot differently as well. Um, I typically shoot more or less like this um, just because the, the sights right so the sights I can kind of look through um, the rear sight for me is the back of the arrow and the front sight is between my um, knuckles and the bow itself so kind of like the, the little Y that's as easy as for me um, and it helps me shoot a little bit better uh, not perfectly um, I'm still learning, but like I said, if you really want to get into archery, go to your local shop, buy a bow, right? See if you like it. I started off with a compound bow, then got bored, um, cause learning curve was fairly quick with the traditional. It's a lifelong process of just learning and trying to refine and trying to hone your craft. Um, and then get yourself a recurve or traditional target. There's a difference between a uh, compound target, which is a, usually, well, at least for me, is a lot bigger. And when I, if I shot my recurve arrows into a compound bow target, I had the worst time pulling them out, and you can actually destroy your arrows that way. Um, also, too, when you go to your local archery shop, I highly recommend that they um, they don't just sell you any arrows. You really actually have to have the right kind of arrows. Like, um, for instance. Um, this is a 500 grain per inch uh, arrow, so it's pretty It's pretty light, right? It's pretty light. The bow is also pretty light, too. For my heavier bow, uh, traditional bow, it is much, it's much bigger, heavier, and the arrows are much bigger and heavier. I think they're like 800 grains per inch. Um, they call it GPI. Um, but that's kind of one of the, some of the most basic things uh if you really want to get into traditional archery and, and uh and stuff like that so um i'm just gonna let go a few arrows and see how i do or how terribly i do Uh, see how poorly I did. I didn't do very good at all, but I can always still learn something, right? Even if you miss, I think I, the first arrow, I think I completely missed the target. Um, see a hit bullseye once, but up there as well. But uh, yeah, so it's all a learning process, guys. All a learning process. 